Oh, right, this is a lead code medium. I would, based on our current path, I would say it's closer to hard than medium. But it's the K, top K frequent words, frequent words problem. And this is a statement. We have an array of words and an integer one at the K most frequent strings that occur. Now this example can, will demonstrate the whole thing. C, 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 she sells seashells by the seashore. So you want to, get the top three and when you what you return needs to be sorted alphabetically with um, the frequency being the dominant factor so by appears once everything here appears once by seashells and seashore but by alphabetically comes before seashells and comes before seashore so you have the s-h-e comes before s-h-o and next this next next example we few, we happy, we few, we band of brothers. We occurs the most. Occurs like three times. Few, twice. Band brothers and happy occur once, but they alphabetically BA comes before BR and comes before H. And we have the top five most occurring elements in the heap, in the list. Now we have a similar problem here where we have numbers and you're supposed to get maybe the top K most frequent numbers. So the top three most frequent numbers here would be 11, well, 12, 11, and five. And how you solve this was you created a frequency map of the value and how often it occurs. So in our case, we will create a frequency map of every word and how often they occur. And we needed a heap in the original numbers case of k of size k and we would pop elements from the from the key value hash hash map and every time the map got bigger than k we would pop something from the heap and it will maintain the heap property and when we're when we've looped through everything in the hash map we return our heap now this problem was two videos ago it's called the top k frequent elements video on my youtube you can check that out for more more context so we have the function here in code we're going to create a hash map only in this case we are storing word frequencies so how often a word occurs uh, in the array and it's it looks like this so we create a new map here we loop over the entire array and if we've seen it before increment the value for that particular word otherwise set the value of that word set the word as a key and its value as one that's all there is to that and that will give us something that looks like this only instead of numbers here we have words next we initialize a new minimum heap only our heap property is maintained by two things now the, the, the most important thing is the frequency. So how often we've seen the word. And the next most important thing is alphabetical, is that things are sorted alphabetically. So if they have the same frequency, the thing that is earlier, occurs earlier alphabetically, should come first in what we return. Now, if you saw the video two videos ago, you see that this is very similar, no, no, practically no difference. We loop through the frequency map Take the number and the frequency, pop it, push it onto the heap. Uh, so the first element is the frequency. The second element is the number. Um, sorry, I was showing the wrong, the previous solution. What you want actually is a word and frequency map. So here we created a new map. We call the word frequency map. Last time we called it number frequency map. And we populate the map, then we create a new minimum heap, a different kind of minimum heap, and the code, the GitHub, the link to the GitHub is there where you can see the detailed description of the minimum heap. And I will show the major difference in a bit. But we see that the solution is the same pretty much. In this case, we were pushing elements into the heap. And then if we got over K, in if the heap size got over k we just remove one element from the heap and we do that for the entire 
size of the map. And we do the same thing for words. We push them in there, every single word and its frequency. And if it goes over K, we pop one time. And that's, that's all there is to it. Very similar to the last problem. And lastly, we empty our heap into an array. And because it comes out in a, the reverse order, so we just hit a reverse. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Very similar to the video two, two videos ago, where only in this case we reverse, right? We don't, because the alphabetical order of things matters in this case. That's one major difference. Another difference is we use this lex min heap method. Again, link in the description. Go to the GitHub in the description. The compare value function, this compare value you see here is very different from the one we use for when we we're dealing with numbers because we don't, we don't just deal with frequencies. We also deal with uh, the string order, alphabetical order. And JavaScript has a thing where if you compare A, string A and string B, right? A is, not, is less than string B. That, would give, that, gives you, that gives you true. So it's worth looking at. Um, I didn't, I don't recommend memorizing whether you should put a greater than or less than here. Even for a minimum heap, I don't recommend you memorize whether you need to subtract A from B for your compare function because it, it tends to be hard to stick. So, and it costs very little to just try it out like in real time <clears throat> to find exactly what it is you want, the behavior you want. So yeah, if they have, if they have the same frequency, compare their order. Right? If the frequencies are different, right? Just compare the frequency and sort based on frequency mainly because frequency always trumps alphabetical order. Remember that. So quite a bit of trial and error to get it to this point, but that's all there is to the solution. And it has a similar, similar big notation and explanation as this one. So, so worst case we have n log n because we're dealing with insertions of a heap, which is o of log n log of k. And we're going to do it n times because um, in the worst case, every word occurs only once. So k, and in the worst case, k is going to be equal to n, right? k is going to be equal to n. So the time capacity will be n log n pretty much. Um, space complexity is O of n plus k, worst case n, k is equal to n. So it's supposed to be O of 2n, which is equal to O of n. So this is pretty much supposed to be O of n, Sim it's very simply supposed to be O of n. And that should be all for this problem. I think I've covered everything worth mentioning. Solution, GitHub solution in the description, worth a look, absolutely. Worth even a debugging session for it to really sink in. But that's all folks.